Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorial Race. And in this video, I'm going to display you how you can upload multiple images using Angular and PHP MySQL. There are some cases when you need to upload more than one image. For example, if you are working on a, in an e-commerce project and there can be possibility that you have to upload, you, you, you have to provide the facility to the users, to the customer, that they can upload more than one image. For example, if anyone is just creating a product, just creating a product, in that case, shirt, in that case, there can be chances that the, the, the shirt can be of multiple color. The user wants to display the shirt from front side, from back side, from side, left side, from right side. In that case, you just have to upload multiple images. So you need to provide this facility where you just can upload more than one image. So in this video, I'm going to display you how you can upload multiple images using Angular as a front end and PHP MySQL as a back end. So far in the previous video, I displayed you that how you can upload an image from Angular but the problem is that you cannot select more than one image here. You can upload only one image at a time. But as I mentioned before, that there can be possibly there can be requirement that the user can upload more than one image. So in this case, you can select only one. So what I will do, first of all, we will start from this file. Here, in this line, and also let me mention one thing that this video is continuation of the last video. So in case you have not checked my last video, you are strongly recommended that you check my last video so that you can understand this better. Now, here we need to write multiple. That's it. Writing this, now you can select more than one image from here. So I'm going to select more than one image. So as you can see, now I can select three images. So let's select two and taste. But you will see that you can select two, but in actual, it, only one image will be uploaded. For example, the taste, when this is taste, let's control shift K. Yes. And then we will check here in network. Now try to click here, upload image, and then click on this response. So you can see, a second I need to write some code here. Mm. Okay, let's check here, upload section. You can see only one image got uploaded, not both. So what we'll have to do, we need to make changes in this code here so in since the image is going as a multiple uh, array so we need to write here a uh, for loop so let's write the code for now here we need to close this calling process so in this case, what is happening here, we are starting the index from zero, and then it will, this loop will run up to, the, it will check the files once. So in case you select two images, in that case, it will run two times. In case you select three images, in that case, it will run uh, three times. So now, in place of this fixed zero, we have to write here i, so that the index will take automatically now here as well we need to provide this one and here we need to declare one array so we are going to declare one array my files and string and this this is an empty blank array now let's write here this dot my files and then push event.target.files that means every time 
it will the inside array it will be pushed so suppose we have selected three images in that case now the my files will have will contain three files it, it is it is more of like array push okay so as you know that in array push the array element is added one by one so now these files will contain all the files selected now this in place of this file we have to change here this dot my files now try to cancel this log here console.log my files after selecting but remember up to this time the file will not upload only it will display you after selecting so now go to console and then select three images or two images for example this one and this one now you can see this error two images are not selected but still if you try to upload then it won't upload two images so we need to change it here as well here in this file here are two we have to A write code of for loop. So let's write code for for i, and then here we will make curly braces. So inside this, here in place of this math house, we need to change here i in place of this zero. And remember this math files contains all the this math files contains all the error so again here we are checking that how many files already has been selected so is depending upon the number of number of files selected it will run so if you have selected three files in that case it will run up to three and every time here it will be pushed as an array and here in from data i'm replacing this to this one so file upload remember here you need to provide square bracket that means this in this is an array or else if you just remove this then it will upload only uh, one image when i was learning it took me to figure out at least five to six hours you know and I was checking here and there, but utterly ultimately I provided this error when it works. Okay, now, now we need to change into our PHP file as well. So let's go to this file, and here too we have to. So if you want to see here that how it is printing, then let's see. Currently, I'm just commenting this out so that image will not be uploaded so here too i have changed your file upload and file upload according to the changes of the code here so now let's try to upload the image and see if it is passing to php file or not so this time i'm selecting three images here Let's write something here and try to as you can see it is displaying here three images but we need to check if it is passing to api or not to php or not so now click on upload and select here you can see all the three images are passing here to php api so now we are successful in this now we need to still it is not uploading so we need to change the code so just write it first. Now we need to change the code to this one in PHP file as well. So first check an empty string here and then write a for loop code. So here for and then so here what we are doing 
So uncomment this one now. And let's close the crawly braces. Now this time, what we are doing, this power upload is which is an array. Now we are checking here, it will run up to three or the number of files selected. So suppose you are selected four files, so this four loop will run four times. Now here this I we need to pass here as an index. So it will be like this. And here too. Okay, so now let's try and hope it will still work. Let's go to here and then should I comment this code? Yeah. Let's comment this code. And let's try reporting. We have selected three files. This, this, this. Now try to upload these three files and check into going into the for loop. And you can see oh all these files will be selected. So let's delete once again and try to check if it is already working or not. So one, two, three. Now let's check it. As you can see, we have successfully uploaded three images. This time let's select two images. This one, this one, and this one. Now, try to put this time there should be total pipe. Now you can see there are total pipe parts. So, hope you understand that how this works. So, let's recap me. You need to change to this properly. You need to just write here multiple in your input box and then. You have to in this own file selected. You need to apply here, run here for a loop, so that index can be generated, and then each file array can be pushed into a multiple array. And ultimately, this is set into the upload form, and then again in in the time of loading, you need to run this for loop as well, and then. Here we have made changes to this code, and in PHP Power, you need to make changes again. Here, you need to run for loop. So, using Angular, you can upload more than one image. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.